everyone. Today I'm going to tell you about buffer systems in the human body. Imagine that you see two pictures filled with colorless liquid solutions, which look the same at the first sight. They even have the same pH of 7. But if the same amount of a strong acid or a strong base is added to each of them, they act completely different. pH of the solution A changes drastically, while pH of the solution B remains almost unchangeable. Why? Is it a miracle? Of course, no. Just the solution A is water, while the solution B is a buffer system. And have you ever thought about why does blood pH remain almost constant despite the variety of foods we eat and running of different metabolic processes producing hydrogen ions? On the schema below, you can see at least five different metabolic processes which are constantly releasing H plus ions into the internal environment. But the blood of a healthy person Hopes with maintaining pH in a very narrow range between 7.35 and 7.35. The change of pH by more than 0.35 away from this range lead to a death. So maintaining of a constant blood pH is critical for proper functioning of our body. So how is pH being regulated? In our body, there are different complicated systems which are responsible for regulation pH. And the fastest of them is chemical buffers system, which responds within seconds. It's like a first line of defense against pH changes. This chemical buffer system consists of different buffers which are present in body fluids, in extracellular and intracellular fluids, in blood and urine. So what is a buffer? Uh, according to the definition, a solution which stabilizes pH, when small amount of an acid or a base are added is called a buffer. There are two types of buffers, acidic buffers and basic buffers. Acidic buffer consists of a weak acid. Uh, weak acid means that it releases a small amount of hydrogen ions and its conjugative base. Uh, it is the salt of this acid with a strong base. A basic buffer contains a weak base, a base which accepts small amount of hydrogen ions and its conjugative acid the salt of this base with a strong acid. To properly understand how does the buffer system work, we need to remind what are acids and bases according to branstad lowry theory. A branstad lowry acid is a substance that donates a proton becoming a conjugative base. A branstad lowry base is a substance that accepts a proton becoming a conjugative acid. A branstad lowry acid and its conjugative base or a branstad lowry base and its conjugative acid work together uh, in a buffer pool. If extra H plus ions are added into a buffer solution, they join up with conjugative base producing more weak acid molecules. If extra H minus ions are added into a buffer solution, they are neutralized by a branstad lowry acid. In the human body, there are five chemical buffer systems. The most known of them and the most important is the bicarbonate buffer system because both of its components 
H2CO3 and HCO3 minus can be regulated. Concentration of H2CO3 can be regulated by respiratory system and concentration of HCO3 minus ions can be regulated by renal system. Other chemical buffers in the human body are phosphate, proteins, hemoglobin, and ammonia. Let's find out how does a bicarbonate buffer work. We know that carbon dioxide is constantly produced in the human body as a result of metabolic processes. It reacts with water molecules um, forming H2CO3, which dissociates into H plus and HCO3 minus. All these particles are in equilibrium. If concentration of H plus ions increases, equilibrium shifts to the left side, favoring backward reaction, and their concentration decreases. If concentration of H minus ions increases, they start to combine with H plus ions producing water molecules. That's why H plus concentration decreases and equilibrium shifts to the right side, favoring the forward reaction. pH of a bicarbonate buffer can be calculated uh, using henderson hasselbach equation, according to which pH equals to pK plus logarithm of concentration of HCO3 minus divided by concentration of H2CO3. Uh, as you know, the concentration of HCO3 minus ions is controlled mainly by kidneys, whilst partial pressure of CO2 is controlled by lungs, pH can be expressed as pH equals constant plus kidneys over lungs. Gemoglobin buffer system, uh, which is present in red blood cells. It consists of deoxygemoglobin HHB, which is a weak acid. It is a balanced lower acid and its conjugative base, HB minus. Also, there are oxygemoglobin. HHBO2 and its anion HBO2 minus, uh, which also play an important role in functioning of a hemoglobin buffer. So, what is happening in uh, pulmonary capillaries of our lungs? Concentration of oxygen there is very high. So, oxygen molecules join up with HHP producing oxyhemoglobin. Oxyhemoglobin is a stronger acid than desoxyhemoglobin, so it dissociates to a greater extent, producing more H plus ions and HBO2 minus. HBO2 minus ions are carrying oxygen to the body tissues. In the body tissues, Concentration of oxygen is low, so HbO2 minus dissociate, producing Hb minus and O2. Hb, as a conjugative base of a weak acid, starts to combine with H plus ions, producing molecules of hemoglobin. This buffer system works together with other buffer systems, especially with bicarbonate buffer system. Protein buffers, which mostly operate in blood plasma, are buffers because of their amphotoric nature. They have carboxyl groups, which have acidic properties, and amino groups with basic properties. So if concentration of H plus ions increases, amino groups, except H plus ions and concentration of H plus ions decreases. 
if concentration of OH minus ions increases, uh, H plus ions, which are produced as a result of dissociation of COOH functional groups, combine with OH minus ions producing water molecules. That's why concentration of H plus ions decreases. Phosphate buffer system, uh, which is a major intracellular buffer, consists of HPO4 to minus ions and H2 PO4 minus ions, uh, which are a conjugative acid and base. Uh, in the process of buffering of an acid, HPO4 to minus ions join up with H plus ions producing H2PO4 minus and their concentration decreases because of equilibrium is being shifted to the right side. While buffering of a base, H plus ions are combined with H minus ions producing water, so their concentration decreases and equilibrium shifts to the left side. A strong base is converted to weak base, so it's less effect on pH. Ammonia buffer system, uh, it is urinary buffer. Uh, we know that ammonia is produced by the mechanism of amino acids uh, like glutamine and other compounds uh, which contain nitrogen. Uh, this buffer consists of NH3 with a branched lowery base because it can accept protons and NH4 plus ammonia ions, uh, which is a conjugative acid. We need to remember that all of these buffer systems work in tandem, not in isolation. And buffers can only limit changes in pH, but they cannot reverse them. Under some conditions, the chemical buffer system in our body is not able to cope with pH changes. It can be because of respiratory system failure or some metabolic problems. This results in such dangerous diseases as respiratory acidosis, when concentration of CO2 is too high, respiratory alkalosis, if carbon dioxide concentration is too low, metabolic acidosis, if metabolic acids concentration is too high, and metabolic alkalosis, if metabolic acids is too low. Thank you for attention.